Base hit left field. Dickerson around third. They're going to hold him up. He's coming through the stop sign, and he is out. I love that play, watching the runner from third trying to beat the ball coming in, kind of on the same track there. Great throw by Arise. Mitch Garvey had three hits in his return from the aisle last night, three hits again tonight, and he wasn't even the star. No, that was Nick Gordon. A high drive to right field. Hernandez back. It is gone. Gordon played a huge role in the Twins beating the Blue Jays. He has a 941 OPS in September entering this game. That was his fourth homer of the year. He had three hits. He drove in four runs, all of them with two outs. He has been just money with two outs. Uh, and he started in right field in this game. That was his first time playing right field for the Twins this year. Uh, Nick Gordon flashing some serious flexibility. Play has played every position but first catcher and pitcher, joining a very short list of Twins players to have done that. Uh, so hats off to Nick Gordon on another great game, having a great month. So nice to see. Michael Pineda, five innings pitched, just two runs against this dangerous Toronto team. One walk, two strikeouts, 69.2% strikes. The Saints were the only team in action tonight in the minor leagues, and B.J. Boyd hit his first home run in a Saints uniform. Guy was having a really nice year for Wichita. Again, that was his first homer for the Saints. That's got the start scoring started for them. And they got off to a quiet start. You see here, they only had what that B.J. Boyd homer was their only hit through four innings. Man, did they heat up. Jimmy Kerrigan got things started here in the bottom of the fifth with a triple blast. This one out to the power alley there at CHS Field and hauls it over to third to lead things off. And Kerrigan had you know one of the guys spending them a lot of time with the Saints. Nice to see him shining here in this final stretch. Ben Rortfit hits a two-run homer the very next batter. This guy is only 23 years old. Over. High fly out towards right. String that together. It's gone. Two-run home run, Ben Rortfit. And he and Celestino, kind of guys who were really pressed into action early, very young. Uh, it's Rortfit's actually his 24th birthday in a couple days here. Uh, so Nice uh, little early happy birthday present there to himself. Tomas Telis tied it up with this single. So very quickly, all of a sudden, the, the Saints come storming back, and they just kept pouring it on. High fly ball, right field, up and gone! That's Mark Contreras. I've talked about him a few times here. One of my favorite stories of all the, the Twins prospects this year. That's his 17th home run of the year. He has an 829 OPS entering tonight. This is a guy who had a 599 OPS in 2019. You know, had to have been sort of on the verge of possibly not having a career. Now all of a sudden he's hitting well in AAA. Scary moment here, though, as Jose Miranda got hit. A pitch in running inside hits him in the, it looks like the hand. Did barely did not swing. They called they didn't call it a swing, so he takes Let's gives a thumbs up. Listen to it. I mean, you can hear that flush, right? And again, he stayed in the game and completed the game, so that's a good sign. Tomas Tele is here with another run scoring hit. He's a 30 year old, been in the twin system for three years now, former major leaguer, a very reliable guy. And then Ryan Mason strikes out two in the ninth inning to earn the save. Chandler Shepard was kind of the pitching star for the Saints, though. He pitched three and two thirds shutout innings out of the bullpen. Uh, so a nice win. The Saints are now one and one in this 10 game final stretch. Come on back tomorrow to see uh, how everybody does. The wind surge and the Colonels will be back in action in their championship series. Uh, so tune on back for more Twin Stock. Please consider subscribing and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you.